Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and today we're going over how to use the Peacekeeper. So let's go over some of the Peacekeeper's specific traits. She has a reflexive defense. What that means is she'll only hold up her sword to block for a short period of time. So let's see, I'm in the L2 stance and I hit right on the right stick. And as you can see, she only guarded for a short period of time. There's left and up. So about a second, maybe less, maybe a little more, somewhere around there. So if your opponent swings to the right twice in a row, you might actually have to hit right on the right stick twice in a row. And if they move, you're going to have to move each direction, and you can't let it hold there for a long period of time. So that can be annoying, but at the same time, it can also be a plus because your opponent's not going to see you're in the right guard going for a right attack and he won't really see anything and you can switch to the left and go for an attack and he might not notice it. She also has the deflect ability. How you do that is you dodge into an attack so there's an attack coming from the left. You have your left thumbstick pointing to the left and then you hit X the same timing as you would for a parry. I'll go over that a little more later she also has the dagger cancel. You can hit R1 after an R2 heavy attack to switch it to a bleed attack. So you can go for that heavy attack and then hit R1 right away. And as you can see, she kind of fainted the right hand and went in for a dagger stab that causes bleed with the left hand. Pretty cool there. You can also do that from a combo. And there's that. She has the stab cancel. This is involving her grapple. We'll go over that a little bit later. And you could cancel a zone attack after the first attack with circle. So this is the normal zone attack, the X scissor, and then a sweeping slash. Or you can just hit circle and simply do an X scissor. You'll run out of stamina probably though. One thing I also wanted to mention before we go over the moves is that the Peacekeeper is a female-specific character, so you could only pick female. That's kind of annoying. I mean, like there's the Assassin's Creed game with Ezio and Altair and stuff, so people might want to pick that male to kind of cosplay them. I don't know if Ubisoft has heard of Assassin's Creed, but I think that would have been cool if we could pick male there. <laughs> Let's get started with the moves here. We have Twisting Blades, that's an R1, R1, R2. As you can see there, it's a pretty good attack. You're going to want to use this one quite a lot. We can also cancel the last R2 and do the Bleeding Stab, if you want to do that. Boom! Stab her in the chest for some bleed damage. That's always fun. She also has an R1, R2 if you want to get straight into that heavy attack. There we go there. You can also switch out that last R2 for the Bleeding Stab as well. If you were a fan of Scyther, you may like this attack, Sword Dance. It is two consecutive R2s. Um, unlike the Pokemon attack, though, it does not raise your attack power. So don't expect that. There are two R2s, and you can also cancel out the second one for the chest stab. I guess you could cancel out the first one too, but then it's not really a combo. <laughs> Slipping Lunge is her running attack. It is the square button plus L3, and it's basically just a guard break grapple, except she kind of jumps a little bit, so it has a, a lot more range than her normal grapple does. I don't really recommend just running at someone and trying to do this attack because they can just attack you with any light attack even and break that. So do it when people are fighting somebody else or do it when you're closer to them and they're not expecting you to start running. So as you can see here, this is her regular grab. Can't do it from that far away. Pretty close. And if you hit L3 first, she does a much larger leap. You can also just do it from the sprint. <laughs> you can see how far away I was and she still got that. Poor Isaac. 
deep gouge, I pretty much already showed it to you. It's just the regular cancel out of an R2, the first hit in the combo. Or you can do the two R2s. I like doing that better, definitely, but if you just want that single attack, you can do that if you want. This is where the Peacekeeper starts to get a lot of her range closing attacks, the dashing thrust and sidestep strike. It's basically hitting an R2 right after you do a dash, fairly close. So I'll show you guys those. You can see there, there's one right there. Try to get really far away. Well, <laughs> she she ran towards me, but... Okay, so that was a pretty far away one, so you can definitely tell just how much of the gap she closes. You can even follow up the dash R2 with an R1 attack, and she will do the bleed stab to the chest. That's really cool, but you have to have the timing perfect. It's basically right as she's sinking her right-handed sword into the chest of your opponent. And as you can see, they're a great attack, if you time it right. Another great bleed attack, they call it Stab. Pretty original name. Basically, you just do the guard break when you have your opponent in that grapple position. Hit R1 three times. You do have to time it perfectly, a lot like the follow-up to the dash attack. Right as you hit them, right as the blade enters their body for the stab, you hit R1 again, so you're going to have to practice the timing on that if you're new to the Peacekeeper. So there's a guard break and three stabs to the gut. Make sure you guys practice that timing. It can be tricky. You cannot just mash R1 and get all three. But as I was mentioning earlier, you can stab cancel as a specific trait. Basically, you just stab a couple times and then you can hit square. If you only want to do one or two stabs for some reason, you can do that. I did it once, but it's really not that useful overall, unless your opponent is like right in front of some fire, and you can stab them twice for some damage and then kick them into the fire, I guess. And lastly, she has the reposting stab. You have to do this after a deflect. Now, I mentioned this earlier, you deflect by dodging into your opponent's attack with the X button or dash button. And she will put her swords up and block the attack during the dash. And if you hit R1 right after you do that, it combos into the infamous chest stab that causes bleed. So that is really good. So there is the reflection and then the stab follow up afterwards. That is great damage. And if you do it a little too early, you'll just dodge their attack. So it's a pretty safe bet. Another one there, another one. Another thing I'd like to mention, maybe for people who don't want to learn all the characters, they like a specific fighting style and they want to stick with that, is that the Peacekeeper is wildly different from a lot of the block-based characters. So if you get used to her attacks and you have like muscle memory for responding as a Peacekeeper should, and you try to switch to a Conqueror or a Lawbringer, that can really mess you up as you're going to try to use your muscle memory for deflecting and dodging through attacks when you should be reposting or parrying and shoving people, that kind of thing. So I've noticed that a little bit happening with me. I try to go back to the Lawbringer, and with the Peacekeeper, your thumb is going to be on the left stick trying to do a deflection, and with the Lawbringer... You should really focus more on the right stick and guarding and blocking an attack. So that can kind of mess you up transferring there. So if you're not really feeling like learning all the characters and you like a certain fighting style, you can keep with the Peacekeeper and then other dash characters like Orochi and Kensei, uh, Berserker, etc. Or if you feel like using them all, just be aware that you're going to have to get used to it. And you're going to hit some buttons you don't mean to hit when you're shifting through characters. As always, I'm going to do a couple of bot battles for you guys to display the Peacekeeper's abilities and attacks. And I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, I see your game.
Mustache. Get away. Oh, he got me. He got me again. Oh, I did the zone attack by accident. I think he just bled out there. Let's see if we can get another one. Got the bleeding stab to the chest. I'm gonna do the R1, R1 cancel into the chest stab. And we got him again. So we're going to definitely want to do less deflections against someone like a Valkyrie with those quick attacks. Mostly just stick to dodging in and out, hitting them here and there when we can, getting a combo if we're able, but more than anything, just try to avoid attacks. Ooh, she got that parry. Stick with your dashes. Oh god. Dash, dash, dash. That's your motto as a peacekeeper. Oh my god, this is so close. Oh, we got her. We got her. This is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly.